Hey there, welcome to week 15 of math. So this will be the last full week of school for December. Next week, we will have a few days and then believe it or not, we are headed into Christmas break. So we've been working on fractions and in particular last week, we worked on comparing fractions. This week, we're going to finish that up and we are going to take two days to work on comparing fractions and then we will take three days to work on all the other stuff we've been doing. Again, just making sure that we're practicing so we don't forget what we've learned. Now, when we're comparing fractions, I wanted to start off by saying, and you're gonna hear it in the Nearpods as well, you guys did an awesome job on finally figuring out how to write a fraction and also overall with comparing fractions. Now, the problem that we had was a lot of us got confused with our greater than, less than, or equal to sign. So what I thought, and, and I knew that you got confused because number one, that it was wrong on the Nearpod, but when I talked to you on Zooms, I noticed that you actually knew the right answer. You just didn't know the right sign. So let me show you our fractions. Let me show you how we're gonna do our comparing fractions. It isn't any different than what you did last week. So I have this fraction here, three eighths and one fourth. I already went ahead ahead of time and drew my pictures, okay? That is what you're going to be doing this week. Monday's Nearpod, I took it easy on you and I gave you pictures. Tuesday's Nearpod, you're gonna draw it yourself. Why? Again, I told you last week, you never know when you're going to be in the kitchen or the garage or the wood shop or the tech shop and you have to decide, well, uh, I don't know. I, I don't have one fourth on my tape measure. Okay? Uh, I don't have a one fourth measuring cup, right? This actually, as you can see by what I wrote on here, this is one half. Um, this measuring tape, it's going to be hard to see, but look at all those fractions. Yes, there's a one fourth. Yes, there's a three eighths, but uh, I don't see any other denominators. What if my number was a denominator that had a seven or a five? Okay, that's my point with all this. So you've got to be able to figure out, um, is this greater than, is this less than, is this equal to? All right, so three eighths. Uh, that's going to be my top uh, picture. And I know that because I have eight faces. Now, I needed three eighths. So I'm going to color that in. One, two, three. Okay. And then I had one fourth. I'm going to color that in. One. Well, in this case, when I'm looking at the fraction or the pictures, I can tell that three eighths is bigger than one fourth. And that's because look at my picture. Notice how the colored part is longer on the three eighths than it is the one fourth. So in this case, I would say three eighths is greater than one fourth. Now, this whole greater than less than stuff, we have to remember anytime we're dealing with greater than, the mouth is always open toward the bigger number. So if I wrote this, six is greater than three, I am right because the mouth of my symbol is going towards the bigger number. The point is going towards the smaller number. Think of it this way. If you're hungry, you want the most amount. You want the biggest amount, all right? If I had the choice between one piece of pizza and three pieces of pizza, I'm going for three. So picture this be in your mouth. You want the biggest piece, all right? So anytime we're looking for greater, you want this going towards the bigger number. Uh, less than point goes towards the smaller. So this one showed us uh, six is six is greater than three. All right, what if I had this? What if I had the number two and I had four? Well, two is less than four, so I want to do it this way again because the point always goes to the smaller number. The opening or the mouth wants to eat the bigger number. So this would be our less than. All right, go ahead and uh, get that done. Then we're going to be move on, moving on to multiplication, addition, subtraction, money time, and also looking at fractions. You need any help this week? Please let us know in chat. Good luck.